Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome in. It's officially December 1st, 2022, Thursday afternoon, and uh, it's sad. It's really sad that I have to make this video, uh, but it seems like around the holidays and Christmas time, especially, uh, the biggest scammers do come out for obvious reasons. Uh, and we have one operating in the reseller community. I call it the reseller community. This person is not a part of our community. They are simply a predator preying on newbies and greed and inexperience and a whole lot of other things. Uh, but here's what's going on essentially, and I'm going to call him out by name. Uh, I hope that he gets uh, mad about it and comes at me uh, because we are getting law enforcement involved. This scammer is bad enough in the reseller groups that we are getting law enforcement involved. Fact. So what's happened is that a gentleman named Paul Mall, M-U-L-L, -L, and his wife, uh, which I will put screenshots of everything that has happened up in the areas around this video as you go through it. There are dozens and dozens of victims that we know of right now. Who knows how many we don't know of. A few of them were discovered in my group, Thrifter Reseller uh, World, uh, which if you're not a member of, it's an awesome group and I blocked these people immediately, but he moved on to other groups and apparently has been scamming people in multiple other groups. I've warned the other group members to block him and remove him and they have been doing that. So if you come across him, avoid him at all costs. His scam goes like this. He puts out a post or messages people or comments um, as best he can without getting in trouble with the group admins that he is selling vintage t-shirts. 50 of them, 100 of them. Uh, of course, he's using one of the hottest items on the market. Everybody wants vintage t-shirts. And uh, sometimes he would put up a post that would say something like, guys, I just had the best estate sale ever, the best, best yard sale ever. I found these 75 vintage 1970s shirts, Harley shirts, whatever, uh, movie shirts. And uh, I did so good on them. They're amazing. I can't wait to sell them all. Maybe I'll just sell them all as one group. And of course, that sparks interest where group members go, oh, you're going to sell them all as one group. And they start commenting on his post saying, oh, how much would you want for all of them? And he ends up getting 10, 15, 20, 30 comments before anybody can do anything about it. Because if he just comes in most groups like mine and says, hey guys, I have a hundred shirts for sale. We'll block him. We'll remove him because it's against our rules. And this is one of the reasons it's against the rules for us, at least in my group, to sell merchandise or allow people to sell except for myself, because I don't know these people. They could be scammers and they could take advantage of my group members. And that is exactly what is happening. So I just don't allow it at all unless it's myself or someone I have vetted and I know, like a Dominic or a Steve Rakin or somebody that I know is not going to scam you and will send your merchandise. So this guy puts this out, a ton of people DM him. Um, he goes into private messages before he gets booted from the group or it gets deleted. And he starts making a deal where it's pretty much too good to be true. Another red flag. Um, hey, I'll sell you 50 vintage shirts for five bucks a piece, $250 or $350, something where it's like, wow, I'm going to get myself, you know, $5,000 worth of shirts for 500 bucks or 400 bucks. And it's just like, okay. And he goes, hey, yeah, you can just shoot me a cash app and I'll get it shipped out to you tomorrow. He seems legit. He came from the group. People are like, oh, cash app. Yeah, I don't really do cash app. And he's like, hey, look, man, you know, cash app away and it'll ship. And you're like, man, I gotta have these shirts. And you just let it cloud your judgment. You can't let non-existent, write this down, guys. You can't let non-existent greed and non-existent profits cloud your mind. When you send this guy $500, it's gone. You are not going to make a dime. You are losing $500. So don't think of it as, oh my God, I'm missing out on a chance to profit thousands of dollars. No, the only thing you're missing out on is a chance to hand some scammer your money. And that's the end of it. He takes your money, he's not shipping it out. We know this guy's a scammer because he offered the same lots of merchandise to literally a hundred people, like who knows how many people, the same lot over and over in every group and offered to sell it and ship it to people over and over and over again. And once again, I'm putting up screenshots. You guys will see some of, this is just some of the screenshots I have and who knows how many other people we don't know. So just wanted to put a warning out to the community about this particular gentleman because it's getting really bad. Apparently there are dozens of confirmed um, uh, victims. There are thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars in transactions. Uh, somebody I know who's a follower of mine actually knows this person in real life or has met them, uh, shopped with them or done some sort of interaction with them and gave me all of their real information, including an address, a name and all this stuff. So uh, it's being forwarded on to the police. The problem with me doing it is because I'm not a victim. He didn't actually scam me. Uh, he scammed members of my group, which isn't the same. Um, I can't file a police report because I haven't been a victim of a crime. But you all need, if you've been a victim, need to file a um, 
a police report and you can DM me for the uh, private information. I'm not gonna put that out on the internet on YouTube, but DM me and I'll send it to you if you'd like to file it. You can also file an IC3.gov, IC, the number three dot gov, internet crimes report against him. That would help. Uh, and hopefully we can get this guy arrested. He's, he's just scamming people so much, it's ridiculous. And I felt like I had to make this video. So red flags, if it's too good to be true, Cash App, Venmo, uh, almost always a big no-no. Don't send people you don't know. Don't even send people you do know Cash App and Venmo unless it's like really close friends and family. Um, just because you think you know someone doesn't mean you know them. If you meet them in a Facebook group, just because somebody um, like me that's reputable runs the group doesn't mean our members are reputable or that we allow them to sell anything. We may not know them. They can join the group today as Joe Schmo. And we have no idea who they are and they can scam you. So don't just assume because they're in a group that we have anything to do with them or have vetted them or that they're safe. That's a red flag. Uh, too good to be true and they're pushing you to send that money, almost always a scam. Even if they're American, they don't have to be foreign. They can have proper English, perfect English. They can be very nice, personable. It can look like they have a lot of other posts in the group or business. Don't go off of any of this. And if you're not sure, use your gut, walk away from it because you're just gonna be handing somebody your hard earned money and it's not okay. Uh, Christmas time, the scams pop up. So always be on your highest alert around the holidays and right after. Um, so just common sense things to not get scammed, guys. This is part of the community. Unfortunately, it happens everywhere. It happens in video games. It happens in comic books. I talked to Dominic earlier today. Um, he told me about one that was crazy. Uh, it happens in trading cards. It happens in clothing. It can happen in any category. It isn't just our reseller communities. It happens in crypto. You see it in crypto every day because most crypto is a scam. For every one legitimate crypto person, there's 10 million fake ones and scams. So, um, it just, you gotta be careful, guys. You have to be careful. And this guy, Paul Mall, if you see this video, which I know you will, because I'm gonna post it in the groups, we're coming for you. We're contacting your local authorities up north and uh, we have your address. We have everything we need about you. It's not a bluff. Your days of taking advantage of my group members, of this community and of other group members is over, my friend. And uh, we're gonna put you behind bars where you belong. And hopefully you learn a good lesson from it and you don't do it again. And you spend part of your, uh, Christmas holidays with all the money you've stolen from people behind bars not getting to use it for your own good and your own debt or your own whatever you're spending it on. All right, have a great night, guys. Sorry I had to make this video, but uh, be careful out there. Stay away from the scams. And until next time, I'll see everyone.